everybody and welcome to Tuesday's video. This is going to be a hodgepodge of all kinds of projects that I've been working on. And you know, when you see my videos, there's a lot that goes be on behind the scenes. There's a lot of projects that I do that I don't make a video about. And I wanted to share with you just some things that I was working on in the last t two weeks. what a better way is to make a just a vlog with Tessie and that way you can see a little bit what I've been doing and there's a lot of neat things I'm working on I am back on track the new year is over with the holidays are over with and I have so many things that I'm working on I have a bushel of apples that are waiting for me that I have to make apple pie filling apple jelly apple juice I also have carrots I got to can this week. You're going to see videos on all of this. I have a lot of canning to do this week because as you know, I'm still on my zero spend. I'm on week two and what I'm going to be doing is cleaning out my freezer, finding what foods that I could go ahead and make vegetable soup with and can it. So that's what I'm working on. you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy all these video clips. They were uh, projects I'd done this week. So take care everyone and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye and get ready. We have a lot of canning videos coming up ahead. What I'm going to make is I'm going to make garlic onion dip mix. Because I do things so different than what it is written, I'm just going to share with you the recipe I will scan it for you so you can see the recipe for yourself because I'm making a whole bunch of this and what I do is I use just a little of it to seasoning things. One package of this makes two cups of sour cream and I'm going to share with you at the end of doing this because this is going to confuse you because I'm going to do this like five times the amount and then I'm just going to add it to my sour cream to taste. I don't really follow the directions and that is how I cook but I know some of you like to follow the directions and so I will share that with you. So it's garlic onion dip mix and making this one time added to two cups of sour cream will make you one dip. But I'm going to make a bunch of it and I'm just going to add it to my sour cream to taste. So it calls for one tablespoon of garlic powder and this is my very own garlic powder that I have. I have my very own that I make. So it calls for one tablespoon and I'm going to add four because I'm going to make this in fours. It calls for one tablespoon of onion powder. Now this is not going to be for gifts because I'm going to use this for myself. When I have it for gifts then I will follow the directions. A half of tablespoon of dried parsley and I have my own dried parsley as well so it calls for a half a tablespoon of that so so of course we're gonna do that in fours and then it calls for a half a teaspoon of salt free seasoning blend. Well as you know I have my own. I have my own as that as well. Most of the stuff I have videos on. I'm going to do it for them. And then it calls for an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Um, I'm just going to put just a little pinch of salt. I don't like using a lot of salt in things and I'm not sure why you would have salt in that so we'll just put a little bit so there you go that's how easy it is now I made four times the amount so this would be four times two would be eight so this would make eight cups of dip add all of this to the sour cream it would call for about eight cups so that is what it looks like and of course I'm gonna shake it up real better than this but that is called 
garlic onion dip mix and let me show you the recipe. Seasoning dip is made and I'm going to put this in a beautiful glass jar. This will be my home use. Are you like me? At the end of the week, do you just put everything on a pile somewhere? Maybe it's your dining room table. Maybe it's your kitchen table. For me, it's this pantry. And it is a mess, let me tell you what. So, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put everything away. Which belongs. Fanny's diary and it is January the 8th and it's 1943. Fanny writes, Daddy has a real bad chest cold. I washed my hair today, cut new night shirts for Pete and Emma Mae sewed them. It was a really cold and damp day. I hope you enjoyed my video, time spent with family and just working around the homestead. But you know, there's a lot more to my videos than what you see. Sometimes in life, we make bloopers. And if you're Tessie, you make a lot of bloopers. Sometimes it takes me more time to edit than it does to actually film a project I'm working on. I've been prone to make a lot of mistakes in my voice and in everything else I seem to do. I am a human blooper. But I come to a point in my life that it's okay to make fun and to laugh. You know, we're not perfect human beings and I think we need to embrace the silly side of ourselves and not be embarrassed about the bloopers of our life. And so on many videos, you're going to see at the end some bloopers just to share with you a little bit what it's really like to stand in front of a camera and to look in that lens and try to do things in a very educational way. 
Sometimes you just have to laugh. While well, Crock-Pot meal's cooking, let's go ahead and make another seasoning. Today we're going to make a barbecue seasoning rub. You can put on chicken or any kind of meat. Let's get out my nice big salad bowl and let's get working. Let's get out my nice big salad bowl and let's get working on some of these more seasonings. Let's get my big salad bowl out and let's make some more seasonings. This is going to be barbecue seasoning. It's a barbecue rub that you can use for chicken or any other type of meat that you wish. 